Let me tell you about the river of life. It's a metaphor for mindfulness where a lot of my reflections come from. I like thinking. I use my imagination a lot and engaging in thought brings a lot to my life. But one thing about thinking as much as I do is that there is a downside. I need to manage all of those thoughts from becoming messy, from pitfalls like uh, overthinking and ruminations. Years ago, I came upon mindfulness practices and the use of meditation as a way to manage my thoughts and the emotions that are associated with them. Uh, that was a very useful development in my life and my lifestyle. And that's something I recommend to a lot of people who think a lot like me. One metaphor of mindfulness that appeals to me is to see life as a flowing river. The aim of regular meditation then is to practice being able to sit beside the water, like what I'm doing now, and let the water pass without being swept away by the current. That's a useful skill to build focus on breath and be a curious observer and to watch a lot of turmoil and stuff go by and it brought me calm and clarity and it brought me an awareness and got me in touch with what is important about myself but as I continued with my practice uh, something changed I found that as soon as I stepped out of my meditation and stepped back into my daily life the sense of being in touch uh, often slips away it's good having those moments sitting by the bank and watching the river and the water go by but life isn't on the banks of the river life is actually in the water it's in the currents and the waves that push and pull us in different directions. Sometimes the water is warm, sometimes it's cold, sometimes I'm floating, enjoying the flow, and sometimes I'm drowning in the turbulent water. It became clear to me that, for me anyway, having a practice of just sitting beside the river wasn't enough for me. I want and I need to be in the water navigating the river itself moment to moment and so my mindfulness practice began to evolve and I started using it not just as a tool to reflect after something's happened or before something happens but as a way to engage with life as it is happening I call this um, immersion in a sense immersion in the river of life I moved from trying to stay on the bank of the river observing the water to immersing myself in it. And when I'm immersed in this river, I'm not trying to stay dry or to avoid getting swept away. I'm in the water, I'm feeling every ripple and every wave. I am using my reflection as my guide. Whether the water is calm or it's turbulent, I work to stay present, acknowledging the way it shapes me and the directions that it takes me. And a lot of times, it takes me where I don't expect, and I can't control that. My job is to learn to swim, and to learn how to move with the current, to adapt where it takes me. So sometimes along the way, I come across interesting things like leaves and branches and shells and stones and pebbles. And I hang on to them because they're nice to have. But sometimes I have to let those things go because the river is turbulent and is telling me I need to let those things go. Some parts of the river is so turbulent that I can drown and I watch out for those parts. I also don't swim alone. The most important part about the river is that I swim with other people. It's about who I swim with. And from this river comes endless experiences and opportunities and challenges. And I think about them. I find meaning in them. I'm grateful for them. And reflecting on them moment to moment helped me 
learn to navigate, to build my muscles to swim. And from there I find strength and I learn about my weaknesses. And most of all, from there I find joy. My reflection practice is what produces the videos that you're watching now. What is your river like? And where is your river taking you today?